Oh, sorry, I... My phone did not feel like recording a, a lot of this. So let me try to see what I... <laughs> all the things I've lost. How does the dream of being a rock star fit in to your first word desires? Okay, so remember... How, so the idea is that when you realize that going to the bar and seeing the new band is going to be helpful to being a rock star. And because of that, you decide that this is what you want to do. You endorse it, right? You, you say, hey, out of all the things that I might want to do this evening, this is the one that I actually want to do. What you acquire is another desire, which is this one. It's something like, um, I want to act on the desire to go to the bar and see the new band. Or I want to want to go to the bar and see the new band. Now that second one might seem a little bit weird, but if you think about it, like in cases where, you know, you're having weakness of will, right? So the cat's being very annoying and obnoxious and you, you feel like you're, this is for a while, you know, this is kind of what you're most motivated to do. This is what you really feel like doing. But then you think, yeah, but this is more important to my kind of overall career and stuff. Um, when you're having this, this desire feels the strongest, and you say, yeah, but what I really want to do is this because uh, it connects up with my sort of career aspirations. Well, you could want to want to go to the bar. Like you might not be feeling motivated at all. So that's why I, some, I say, you know, want to want or want to act on the desire. So what's happened when we say that a desire is really the thing that you want to be doing, um, we're saying that there's now a second kind of desire that comes into play. And so this is what we call a second order desire. And if you remember back at the beginning when I said the way that we distinguish between these kinds of states is by, you know, sort of taking an attitude towards, you know, this particular content, right? So I, when I believe that my dog is black, I, th you know, I think that this sentence is true. When I want to eat a taco, right, I want this sentence to be true, okay? So the second order desire um, is distinguished from the first order desire in kind of a similar way. It's all about the object of the desire, the thing that the desire is, is directed at. So here, these are all first order desires. In fact, this is even a first order desire, right? It's just the ordinary things we're used to, right? Doing stuff, things happening, putting stuff in your face, you know, those are all just ordinary first order desires, right? A second order desire is about another desire. That's why we call it second order, right? Because it's one level up, right? So that's this desire. I want to act on the desire or I want to want something. And you can see, you know, that since autonomy is all about uh, sort of living and acting in a way that's consistent with your values, then um, it's really important that you be able to sort of shape the desires that you're acting on. And the way that we do that is through this um, kind of second order desire. And so that's why when you get into the CRISP article, um, he's going to be talking about second order desires is very important to uh, whether or not you're autonomous.